On a pleasant morning of November 2020, physical therapist Julie McSorley and her friend Liz Cotriel embarked on a kayaking adventure in the picturesque San Luis Obispo Bay in California. Accompanied by a group of fellow enthusiasts, they paddled through the tranquil waters, surrounded by the breathtaking scenery, reveling in the beauty of the ocean, capturing its serene splendor on film. The weather was perfect, and the ocean was calm, when suddenly Julie felt a powerful force beneath the kayak as if something massive were pushing it from below. Before they could even comprehend what was happening, they were confronted by an awe-inspiring sight. The water around them began to churn, and a massive, gaping maw emerged beneath their kayak, its immense jaws towering over them like gates to another world. In a heartbeat, they found themselves inside the colossal mouth, surrounded by the creature's vast, dark interior. This unpredictable and gigantic creature of the deep was none other than the humpback whale, the ocean's most magnificent ruler. Megapera novanglie, or the humpback whale, belongs to the Rorqual baleen whale family and represents the sole surviving species of the Megaptera genus. These majestic creatures inhabit oceans and seas across the globe, undertaking remarkable migrations of up to 9,900 miles annually from polar regions to tropical and subtropical waters driven by their dietary and behavioral patterns. The name humpback originates from their distinctive arching of their backs as they dive along with the positioning of their dorsal fin. Meanwhile, the genus name Megaptera is rooted in ancient Greek, alluding to the whale's notably large front flippers. Being one of the ocean's largest creatures, the adult humpback whale is typically measuring 46 to 56 feet in length, with females usually 3.3 to 5 feet longer than males. And these majestic creatures can weigh up to 88,000 pounds. That's 40 metric tons. As an organism of distinctive proportions, the humpback whale has a bulky body with a suddenly thin rostrum and long flippers, each approximately one-third of its body length. A short dorsal fin, which can vary in size from nearly non-existent to somewhat long and curved, adorns its back. As a rorqual, their mouth is lined with 270 to 400 baleen plates, which act as an apparent substitute for teeth, although the whale doesn't actually chew its food. One of the humpback whale's unique features is the presence of bumps, or tubercles, on its head and the front edge of its flippers. These tubercles can be 2 to 4 inches thick at the base and protrude up to 2.6 inches. They're mostly hollow, but often contain at least one fragile hair that extends from the skin. These tubercles develop early in the whale's development in the womb, and they're believed to serve a sensory function due to their rich nerve supply. Although generally non-threatening towards humans, these colossal marine animals occasionally mistake kayaks and their occupants for prey, and they swallow them whole. Fortunately, due to the baleen filters in their throats, they are unable to consume anything so large, so they quickly spit out their mistaken meal. This exact scenario unfolded with Julie and Liz, who were ejected from the creature's mouth moments after being swallowed, escaping unharmed. The most interesting trait of a humpback whale is its vocalizations. While other whales might belt out a tune or two for communication or mating, these guys take it up to the whole next level with their tunes resembling the animal versions of complex songs, composed of layers, of units, subphrases, phrases, and themes, akin to musical notes forming melodies. During the winter breeding season, male humpback whales produce these songs, which can travel to a whopping 6.2 miles away. And whales can keep the show going for four minutes to half an hour. However, in some regions, these aquatic serenades can last up to an astonishing seven hours. While it's clear that these songs serve as the main way for these creatures to communicate, experts think that there is more to it than just a mere exchange of information. Some evidence suggests that males use these songs to establish dominance. Interestingly, there have been instances where males that don't vocalize in songs disrupt those that do, possibly showing aggression. Whale songs in a specific area share similarities amongst males, but they are not fixed. Males seem to change their songs over time, and others nearby copy these changes. When a whale sings, it does so while floating in the water with its head down, exhibiting relatively little movement. Humpback whales are known for their fascinating behavior around shallow seamounts. They frequently explore these areas delving into depths of up to 262 feet. However, their exploration does not stop there. 
Occasionally, these majestic creatures venture into much deeper dives, reaching astonishing depths of 2,021 feet. These profound descents are believed to serve various purposes, including providing navigational guidance, facilitating communication amongst humpback whales, and aiding in their feeding activities. During the summer, their dives are fleeting, lasting no more than five minutes, but in the winter months, they become more leisurely, often lasting 15 to 20 minutes. As a humpback whale dives, it elegantly raises its tail fluke, exposing the underside, adding to the spectacle of their movements. When it comes to hunting, humpback whales employ a fascinating technique known as bubble netting. This involves a group of a few whales and up to 200 individuals, where whales dive deep below schools of fish and use bubbles blown from their blowholes to stun trap fish closer to the surface. One whale generally leads the effort, followed by the rest of the group. The leader will usually be responsible for blowing bubbles, and the other members will surround the fish, following them to the surface by swimming in spiral patterns to keep the fish trapped. Humpback whales are known as gulpers, which mean that they feed by leaving their mouths open, swallowing everything in their paths before closing of their mouths, pushing water out through their baleen plates and swallowing the critters, usually fish and small crustaceans. During bubble net feeding, the whales swimming towards the surface will have their mouths open and gulp fish from the school they've corralled. Additionally, Humpbacks can expand grooves to increase their mouth gape, further aiding in their feeding process. Their diet encompasses a diverse array of food sources, including krill, copepods, plankton, and an assortment of fish, such as herring, salmon, capelin, sand lances, Atlantic mackerel, pollock, haddock. Their feeding activity is most pronounced during the winter months, while they rely on stored fat reserves to sustain them through the winter. Perched atop the immense marine food chain, adult humpback whales loom large, deterring any fish from challenging their dominance. Yet their offspring often succumb to the relentless pursuit of the ocean's most formidable predator, the mighty orca. This sets the stage for an enduring battle between these two titans of the sea, a rivalry that has spanned for ages. The humpbacks, in response to the orca's predation on their calves, display aggression towards any passing individual of the orca clan. Not content with mere defensive measures, humpbacks even go on the offensive, disrupting orca hunting expeditions and rescuing prey from the jaws of their rivals. Like this epic showdown of a massive humpback whale facing off against a cunning orca in a struggle over a seal, the humpback, with her calf in tow, tries to distract the orca from its prey. But that sneaky orca snatches the seal and then goes on the offensive, turning to pursue the humpback with its prize in tow. While well, some also believe that the humpback's actions are driven by a social impulse to protect other species from harm, one thing's for sure, there's some serious beef between these two, like an undeclared war out there in the deep blue. This rivalry is so intense that humpback whales often bear scars from other encounters with killer whales, indicating the fierce battles that take place beneath the ocean's surface. To protect themselves and their young, humpback mothers and other adults escort their calves, using their powerful, barnacle-infested flippers as formidable weapons against orcas. On rare occasions, the great white shark has also been observed as a predator of the humpback whale. In a notable incident in 2020, a shark targeted a 33-foot emaciated and tangled humpback whale by attacking its tail, aiming to cripple and bleed it before pulling it underwater. Male humpback whales use their iconic songs as part of their breeding strategy. While females don't seem interested in approaching lone singers, they are drawn to groups of males singing together, similar to how a lek mating system works. These songs also attract whales from other areas to the breeding grounds. During the breeding season, humpbacks communicate using visual cues and body language like tail slapping, lunging, and breaching the water. These behaviors signal dominance, health, and youth to attract potential mates. Breeding occurs in winter when females are in estrus and when males have high levels of testosterone. Humpback whales are promiscuous, and both males and females have multiple partners. Males compete for females, and they often follow lone females or mother-calf pairs. The male closest to the female is the principal escort and fights off other males, known as challengers, while secondary escorts follow behind but are not directly involved in the conflict. Female humpback whales have a gestation period of 11 and a half months, and they reproduce every two years. After birth, calves suckle for up to a year, during which females must provide them with around 10 gallons of milk a day for five to seven months until weaning. Calves can consume up to 132 gallons of milk per day, developing a layer of blubber within several months to protect them from the cold. Humpbacks reach sexual maturity at 5 to 10 years old, and they can possibly live for over 50 years. Similar to many, many other large whale species, the humpback whale face significant threats from the whaling industry. 
At one point, human hunting activities have pushed the species to the actual brink of extinction, with their population dwindling to around 5,000 individuals in the 1960s. However, thanks to international bans on whaling and reforms in the industry, their numbers have shown signs of recovery, with an estimated 135,000 humpback whales now inhabiting various regions worldwide. Despite the progress, the species still faces threats such as entanglement in fishing gear, collisions with ships, and the impacts of noise pollution. Nevertheless, the IUCN currently categorizes the humpback whale as least concern, indicating a positive global population trend for the species. I got him. I got him on video. Let's hope humans can resist the urge to find new ways to endanger these majestic creatures. And thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.